So the first thing you're wanna, gonna wanna do is to figure out where you want your wreath, how, which part of the wreath you want to decorate. And I wanted, this one's a little bit wider than the rest, so I wanted to decorate this part. So you'll start out with your, your lamb's ear and just start putting it kind of where you want it. It's just too big. So we'll need to cut it. And you can see how I'm doing kind of half, half the wreath. I don't know how to do this, but like I'm kind of drawing a line down the center here. It's gonna be on kind of like the corner of the wreath, but I don't wanna go past like half of the wreath. Does that make sense? All right, once you've got your wreath uh, fairly full with the lamb's ear stems, and we'll turn these so they're not, the back isn't showing, and we'll cover some with the with the peonies, we're not done yet, but we just kind of want to get it fairly full. Obviously there's some spots in here where the peonies will go. And then we'll take our peony bouquet from Michael's and we'll cut, cut these stems down. I'm probably gonna cut them like about right there, with a few, you know, a few inches, but not super long. Okay, that's five. I like to work in odd numbers. And then we have these these smaller ones to put in there, but I honestly don't love that. And I have two more, so I think I will, let's do the small flowers first and then see how that looks. All right, so what I would do first is just start cutting these off. All right, now I have all the smaller flowers um, pulled off. Let's see how these start to look when I get them placed in here in between the larger flowers. It may fill it out plenty, and I don't need any of the larger flowers. Again, I like to use odd number of the large flowers, so um, if we were to add another one, I would add two more, and I just feel like that would be overkill. This one's not one to go in. Just kind of put it where it'll, it'll get in there. I'm gonna add some of this, I don't know what this is called. I'm not a, I'm not a florist at all, but wanna add in some of the other like greenery. Just kinda add these in under the larger flowers. That's gonna cover that one up. So we'll try over here. All right, so that's a first, that's, you know, this is the first step is just filling it in and kind of placing things where I want them to go. And once I finish with this, I'm going to get out my hot glue and start actually put them in place. I don't love the lamb's ear and how much it's sticking up, so I probably need to cut it down a little bit more. Like, I'll probably, like, see this one? Right here, I'll probably cut this off right here, or I will cut this off right now, and stick it in there. And it's more, um, it's just more level with the flowers instead of like so wild and crazy. And I'm able to, you know, kind of move it around a little bit more. And then I might, you know, stick in some like this to add some depth, but it's not gonna be so big. All right, now that, I, now that I have everything in place kind of where I want it, I'll get my glue gun and make sure glue sticks and I'll start gluing everything down. So 
trick here is to use a ton of glue. <laughs> There's a lot of glue in here. <laughs> 